gals, welcome back to another video. It's me, girl Brianna Marie, and you can tell that I switched cameras. I switched to the Canon ESO where I take my um my pictures, my beauty pictures on, cause I the big camera. Uh, I was having trouble. I don't know. It was just something going on with that. But anyways, um, I want y'all to see this full get ready with me. Um, it has been a hassle. I definitely gotta go because I'm trying to go get some drinks or something. My mom used certain things to put in the hair. To make the curl define, um, it's this gel. I don't think anything is going to be low. It's this gel, and I think it's water and conditioner that she used. I'm not for sure, but um, this hair is minimum shading, y'all. And if y'all really need a curly wig that's going to get you right, and you know <laughs> that you need a curly wig in your life, like this one, definitely check the description right below. This is featuring you nice hair. I don't want to keep y'all long because I know y'all want to see this slay, this beat, and y'all want to get into this fashion. So, <laughs> If y'all want to see how she does look, then keep on watching. First things first, I'm going to take Milk Magnesia and prime all the areas that I mainly get oily in. Moving on to the brows, I already did my brows y'all and I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony and then in the front I used MAC Brow Pencil in the shade Strut, but I did clean them up prior to doing these brows. A concealer that really gets my brows sharp is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I use that to clean my brows. The brow brushes that I used were a ABH brush which is a brow brush and then I used a MAC 212 brush to clean up my brows and to actually clean the concealer and smooth everything out is a Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. Moving right along to the eyes because I know that you all have been waiting to see them. So I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade number three and number five. A newer palette that we're going to dive into is the Radioactive Palette by Milk Cosmetics. Please put me on your PR team. I know you, you're looking at it. <laughs> in the shade Meltdown, and I'm going to take it on a 1C7 brush and pack it on the outer V areas of my eyes. For my second transition shade, I went into the Jackiana palette, y'all made me get this palette, and I grabbed Credit, and then I went into the Juvia's Place palette, the Sahara 2, and I grabbed a shade on the left side, yeah, the left hand side. For my last shade, I took a shade, I think out of the Jackie Allen palette, it's like an orange shade, and I just patted that right on the brow bone. I don't really do too much on the brow bone, just keep it straight and simple. So then I went ahead and used my P. Louise base number three to actually cut the crease in the
So to fade the outer V area of my eye of the cut crease, I went ahead and took Meltdown again and basically faded it in as an ombre effect. And then what I did is went ahead and took Sponsored out of the Jackie Allen palette and put that on my lid. But before then, I did go ahead and take my Gemini palette from Mel Cosmetics. It's one of the new palettes. It's like a fall palette. And it's the shade Bonnie, which is the black shade. Going into these shimmer pigments from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, I took a Bear Green and I took Marble Smoke pigment, y'all. And this is basically to give the eye a little bit of shimmer and glistening. Oh my god, it was so pretty when I finished the look. Like, in the dark, it, everything was just glistening. So if you watch Kiki Adams, you know that she uses this liner a lot. This is the Sephora Black Matte Liner. So it's really, really black. And it kind of is giving off a little bit of grayish black. So that's what I use to finish off this look. After I finished it, I look off with some eyeliner from Sephora. I did go ahead and take Max Glitter in Iridescent White. As far as the acrylic eyelash case goes, I don't know who said that to me, but I did put all of my lashes in that case, and I just picked one from there. So as far as face, I took my primers, and I went ahead and did my face. Now I will leave everything that goes right below for face because it's just the same thing over and again.
For lips, I took ColourPop's Peach Lip Liner in um, ABH Naked Liquid Lipstick and topped it off with some P. Louise Gloss in the shade Page. So right here is what I have on. Um, I probably show you a skirt, the skirt in here, because you can't really see the bottom half of it. But I definitely show the bottom half. This is like a lingerie top. This skirt is from Fashion Nova. This is a Gucci belt. It's real, because y'all already know I do the fake ones and the real ones. But this one is real. Squirt. And then this is fur. I got it a long time ago. You can see it in another haul that I did. It's a fashion haul that I did. Nipple covers are from Windsor. If y'all know what that is. They got an online site too. So I will leave the description right below. This skirt's from Fashion Nova. This is from Fashion Nova. This purse is from Fashion Nova, y'all. And this heels is from Akira. That I got on. Like I said, I will leave this right here. Y'all, so I'm so ratchet. I am so ratchet. But yeah, I look really cute. I like a little slut. So I'm gonna go do some slut things. I'll see you guys.